I'm in uh, California at the uh, condo that we have in Orange. And there's a big game on that everybody was talking about between um, the Cowboys. Today we're not going to talk about that and which is trivial or that which is necessarily sensational. The New England, or I mean the Tampa, that which is most important for the Tampa Bay Christ. Buccaneers, Tom Brady. That is our involvement in the cosmic struggle of truth against Eric. And I probably would I want you to take your Bible now and turn to Daniel the eighth chapter. I would probably say and many theologians would suggest that this is millions of people are watching that game. It's probably a good game. But I saw this on Pastor Carter's Carter report. In the third year of King Belshazzar's reign, this means this was a Sabbath, probably just before we started going there. And he's preaching on Daniel chapter eight. King Belshazzar's reign. Daniel and Daniel chapter 8 is, is really the climax, the heart of Daniel and all the prophecies. And I'm going to listen to this sermon, this message by Pastor Carter, and it's gonna, I'm going to learn so much in the next hour about where the world is headed, the judgment, and... Um, I don't know how to say this, but football is meaningless. It's okay to watch every once in a while, I guess. Maybe, and sometimes I watch it. But the people that watch it all the time, they never watch a Bible study, a good sermon from the Bible. And you know what? Their soul is lost. Uh, I'm pretty sure. And it's not that I, we're any better, we're not. But when you realize what was done at the cross, when the Holy Spirit has revealed to you the gospel, a, a game, a Laker game, a Dodger game, Cowboy game, that's why my dad never watched sports. I. My dad was reading his Bible. He's, he's resting now. My dad has eternity. He, and my mom. They're going to live forever. They're going to come up young and beautiful and healthy. And uh, they're going to live forever. And think how meaningless that those football games are for the people, most people, that aren't. So yeah, excuse me for not watching a football game tonight. I'm going to learn and I'm going to see this Glendale Adventist Church. A lot of people that I know in the audience have already seen the Barclays. Uh, and I'm very interested in what he has to say about Daniel chapter 8. Because this is the where the Seventh-day Adventist Church gets its investigative doctrine, investigative judgment doctrine, the sanctuary, because the sanctuary shows us the method of salvation. There was the animal that was brought and sacrificed, but once a year there was the, the Day of Atonement where the high priest went into the most holy place to sprinkle the blood over the law. And so we read that's going on now. We read about that. Jesus is our high priest. It's not a person. It's not a church. You don't need a priest to confess your sins to you. That's it's really blasphemy when you think about it. I'm sorry to tell you. They, 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 when Jesus forgave sin, the Pharisees accused him of blasphemy. And you don't need that priest or that father. You only need Jesus. He's the high priest. And you can read about that in Hebrews. And the judgment has begun. And... It, it's football is meaningless to the soul. What counts is what's in this Bible here, and it, it's gonna. He's gonna talk about the sanctuary doctrine, and I'll learn a lot, a lot more than what Tom Brady's doing. I could care less. All right, thanks.